was getting ready to put my boots on, take the cover off and all that good stuff. Got a, got this text from FLW. It says, uh, info, info from FLW. Day two is postponed. More information coming soon. Tournament waters are off limits today. So, I guess we get a day off. With the wind chills being in the 40s and stuff like that, high 40s, with gusting over, up to and over maybe 30, 25 miles an hour, I've seen different different forecasts. Here's Bill McDonald. Let me grab this. Well, that was Bill. I haven't even taken my cover off. And he's already at takeoff, or was at takeoff, putting his motor transom saver back on. And he said it's blowing a gale force right there at takeoff. So, FLW made the right call. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, whatever call FLW makes is, is going to be the call they make. And I'll support that. I've had quite a bit of coffee, so I don't know what I'm going to do now. Anyways, I think I heard Kurt of next door, so I think I'm going to go over there, walk over there, and just say hi. There's the forecast for the day. Windshield or feels like feels like 35. Oh my. Well, I haven't stepped out yet, but Billy Hines, who's camping next to me, said it's cold. Uh, no joke. Uh, 41 degrees feels like 35 with the wind chill. Um, it's 5:09. It's about time I get ready to put my boots on, take my cover off. Grab my lunch, put it away, put my cameras in my boat. Um, it's go time, pretty much. Postpone day two. It's underway. No doubt we're going. We're going today. Turn off the coffee pot. This is one of those days where you go out on the water, especially not having been on the water for a day and kind of not sure exactly what the fish are doing in the way of reacting to this cold front. It's supposed, the sun's supposed to be out half of the day until like one o'clock. So um, I think it's supposed to, a couple different forecasts. One says it's high of 55, the other one says high of 66. I'm not quite sure what to believe. It's gonna be still pretty cold through the day. Running the boat and everything. I've got my long johns on, you got my, uh, Cabela's XPS thermal top on and I'm gonna put a vest on and I'm gonna put my Cabela's guide wear on and all that good stuff got my boots I'm about to just put on with some nice wool socks so here we go got to keep an open mind on what the fish might do they may not change at all they may change just an open keep an open mind get ready to adjust presentations um, I believe they'll stay right where they're at. That's the, that's my hope. Here we go. Okay. About nine minutes before they start the uh, prayer. And then national anthem. And then we'll get going. It's about 40 degrees out here this morning. Um, north wind, I'd say about 10 miles an hour. Got all my rods ready to go. No marshal today. I think some of the, <laughs> I think some of the uh, weather predicted for yesterday may have, um, may have hurt marshal attendance here. Uh, good thing we we're going out today. <laughs> <laughs> um, it'll be interesting to see how the conditions affect the fishing, if it will at all. Uh, it's it's uh, pretty common sense to think, yes, it's going to affect the, the, the fishing. Uh, but at the same time, I'm going to let those fish tell me. Uh, I'm going to 
I'll let them affirm that idea before I make adjustments, full-scale adjustments or anything like that. But um, we'll definitely try to uh, go there and get a feel for what's going on before I'm making big, big adjustments. I'm going to start at, start at base camp, so to speak, and then make increments until I, until I connect, have a connection. Hoping to have a great day today. Love to maintain my position. We'll move up. Here we go. in the mouth. Oh gosh. I need that one so bad. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, that was ugly. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to get him in. Oh gosh. But I got her in. Oh, praise God. Oh my goodness. thought she was ready she was all sluggish and then all of a sudden she right by the boat she just started battling I mean battling I had that bed marked but he's hooked in the mouth This one would be hooked in the mouth, first off. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, pound and a half. Yes, sir. Hooked in the middle. Thank you, Lord. Oh my god! 
Hey. Thank you. Appreciate you. Are we going on day three? I sure hope so. I mean, I've pushed really hard today and I I don't even know if there's anything left, but I'd love to have a shot at it for sure. Yeah, man, we gotta push on them when we get a chance. A limit today for James. And of course they jump a 14 pound, 10 ounces. So you're nice. over 30 pound mark. That That's gonna, gonna make have it? you right in there, man, I think. Gosh, I hope so. You know, uh, this lake is kind of, kind of had a checkered past here and uh, going out today, it, God really blessed me with some glory fish. and made a big dip probably half my weight in two fish so that wow. was that was really awesome i'm thankful for that and uh love to go back out there tomorrow and and just see what we can do and man it, the the difference between yesterday's weather and today i mean this is total florida stuff but yesterday i didn't know where that came from or it was it was it's just beautiful to have the sun back out here and yes, didn't sir. really know what was going to change between yesterday and today you know cold fronts is a bad word here in florida but turned out okay I saw some massive bags of fish get weighed in, so that cold front didn't shut them down completely. Yeah, you know, the thing to do every time I go out on the water is even if the what conditions aren't right, you just got to go out there with a with the right attitude and just uh, see what see what the fish want to do for sure. That's what this guy does every time I see him, has the right attitude. Thank you, James. You're sitting in eighth place. A real good shot. I was able to take you guys up on the stage with me. That was pretty cool. Ended up weighing 14.10 and... Uh, Right now it's got me in the top 10. I think the top 30 is fishing tomorrow, so hoping that I'm gonna hang tough in there and, and hang on to maybe a top 12 spot moving into day three, which is actually championship Sunday and the uh, final day of the tournament. So there were some monster bags weighed in, a 31 and a 26. And so uh, even though it was tougher today, there were some guys that still really caught some big bags. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I'm going to do tomorrow, but we'll just mix it up and just see what, uh, keep an open mind and just see what we can figure out on the water. Just do the best with what we can and make the adjustments on the fly.